How are you? How are you? Growing up, I really could have cared less about soccer. Seven, so seven got on key, four got on here, and then 30 at RFK. Yeah, 322 East is, that's the one we're looking for. England was playing somebody, and she's like, well, we're gonna go watch the match. I don't wanna go, I don't, really don't care. We're going to the pub to watch it. Ooh, okay. Everyone that lived in the neighborhood was in this one pub, and after a while, I'm sitting there, I'm watching the match, but I'm, I'm more watching everybody that's in the crowd. By the end of the match, I'm like, I get it. Yep, just pull right through here. You can stay on the bus or you can get off the bus. Your tickets at will call. All right, let's go! Anybody else? We got flags. Yeah, we're ready. Even on the quiet side, for the first 10 minutes, everybody's standing up. Well, then after the 10 minutes, everybody sits down, and I'm looking at the other side, and they're still all standing up, stand still, bouncing flags, everything, and it just, it's not stopping. They just happen to be playing the next weekend. She said, you want to go? I said, absolutely. She bought the tickets, and I haven't missed a match since. Yep. This band is the king of all road trips. We're walking out of the stadium. Her name was Jessica. She turns around, and Paul was the president of the Screaming Eagles at the time. She says, Paul, this is Jimmy. Jimmy, this is, your, this is Paul. He's your new road trip director. I'm done. It's more than just supporting the team. I mean, this, this is just a large extended family. All right, I think it's time to jump in the fray. No surprise, burn bomb on the header. That is. Oh, oh, 15, 20 years ago, there's no way I could have envisioned this is what I would be doing. 